So, okay, just for anybody who wants to know, this is a Prius Mark 1, that's an HW10 and WH10, don't know which one it is, and this is the uh, engine and transaxle, don't forgive me, I'm a bit close, from Thusley, uh, we've got, okay, so, kind of, um, the bolts, I've separated the bolts, um, there's a sucker bolt on it, uh, which is, it's probably easier to see from under here, <coughs> right, which is that one, okay, uh, because you can't really get anything in to get it off, you have to use a special kind of, oops, wrench, can I get it to do it, there you go, see, sucker bolt, and that's, okay, so, where is that? Right, this is the rear, because that's the diff with the two CVs. So it's at the front, which is this. <coughs> You've got your injector intakes, transaxle, and it's actually under there. Okay, it's in this bit. So we've got bolt, bolt, bolt. Uh, so there's the sucker bolt under there. I'm not quite sure where I'm pointing the camera, so you have to excuse me. And then we've got bolt, bolt, uh, two there, one, two. This here, nice and shiny, that you need to remove, right, because if you're going to separate them, you have to remove that because you can see that the seam join which is there goes through there so that's that's just oops, shit sorry that's the cast there and that's where it joins so this is actually holding both and this thing here is the uh, the underside engine it's like a, <coughs> uh, a sort of stay stops the bottom of the engine moving around and it fastens onto that yeah, oh, where are we? There we are. See, it fastens onto that, which is part of the, uh, which is part of the subframe. Okay, so you have to remove that. Now the good news is that the bolts aren't, actually weren't that difficult. I had a torque wrench; didn't need to have an awful lot of effort on it to get it actually to do it. So you may be able to do it with just a standard socket set. Yeah. Anyway, <coughs> and so I'm going to drop this down now, and I'm going to separate them. Now my guess is. Right, is that the engine oil, which is still in there, okay, so that's a cast sump, and the engine oil is going to sit, it's going to be in there as a sealed part, and the transaxle uh, lubricant and fluid, the uh, coolant fluid, is actually going to be in there, and they are actually going to be sealed. So when I crack those apart, I'm not expecting fluid to come out, because they are separate, the lubricant and the coolant is separate, it's got a separate system to the lubricant and coolant in the engine. So my guess is, is that bit there that joins them is actually just a, like a housing with an axle in it. And so as soon as I pull it out, probably see a spline shaft sticking off it. But I don't know. So, there we go. This is off a NW NHW10, okay. But I will say that the actual engine in there is the same engine and the transaxle is the same as that in overall operation <coughs> it's just got bigger <laughs> so there's bigger motor for the power you know for the drive and there's a bigger generator that's the difference and in the next generation one up it's bigger still so it is the same I think it may well be the same castings they just put bigger internal components I don't know so we'll see anyway. Should be interesting. Yep. Okay.